These days, it seems the general message that our way of living in, in ordinary life is giving us is don't go inside. Don't look inside. You won't like what you discover. You're going to come across your amphibian lizard brain <laughs> in fight or flight mode. So therefore, stay out there. Of course, you know, practice a little bit of meditation with your app, uh, <laughs> just so you don't go completely crazy. But, but basically, stay out, watch stuff. A lot of stuff. <laughs> Keep watching stuff. More stuff. I mean, people have like a, a thousand channels now. Sometimes you see like these articles, you know, like that say a hundred shows to binge watch. And you just feel so inadequate. Like, how am I ever going to do that? And generally, this is considered culture, culture these days, isn't it? Watch, eat, stay out there, watch and eat, <laughs> and then die. I never got to the end of that show. <laughs> what a meaningless life. If only I got to the end of that show. Anyway, the point I'm making uh, is that what we're doing is so important because the, the views that are being essentially disseminated, not just like, uh, you know, from, from sort of speak directly through media or whatever, but it's just been being disseminated from, from, through how we live these days. It is is nihilistic. It's profoundly nihilistic, and it's just the, the the underlying view is that life is meaningless. Therefore, just stay distracted until you die, and maybe have a few kids and hope that they can work something out. <laughs> and what what we're basically saying is that the pure essential nature of every living being is peace and purity and love and compassion and wisdom and we can prove it you know we can prove it we can we can give people the ability to directly access that and so what we want is to well our job our job is to understand this but to exp and then to experience it isn't it the only way we're going to be successful in sharing this Dharma as if we gain the experience and we need to have the experience of refuge because when we have the experience of refuge which is just step number one isn't it but it is the it becomes the vantage point from which we can establish all the other Dharma minds and in particular it becomes the vantage point from which we can then begin to observe our delusions in action um, you know, our slogan is recognize, reduce, and abandon when it comes to the delusions. Recognize, reduce, and abandon. Step number one, recognize. We need to be able to perceive clearly our delusions in action so that we can then understand them and then learn how to apply the Dharma directly to them so as to reduce them and then through that eventually abandon them. We need to begin to have that experience for ourselves, so that our, our, our act of sharing Dharma will have power because we understand the validity of it. We understand the validity of it, not just intellectually, but we know it in our heart. This works.